Mike, we're here in your factory at Nosler in Bend, Oregon, and there's some noise going on here. Mm -hmm. You yep. aren't letting these people shut down just because some camera crew showed up. We got bullets to make, man. We're here to, <laughs> we're here to do a job. <laughs> so, folks, if you hear a little bit of thump thump or a little bit of grinding or compressors running, it's because these folks got bullets to make for all of you, and just tolerate it. It's not going to be perfect audio, but it's going to be worth hanging around. Because Mike, the mad scientist, <laughs> is going to lay down a lot of gold here. So Mike, we got four bullets that I always look at with Nosler that I'm using. Mm -hmm. Partition, Acubon, E-tip, and a ballistic tip. Quickly tell me what's the characteristics of each of those four bullet designs. Okay. Well, as we talked before, there's actually a lot of overlap between bullets, and they will each work in a lot of different situations, but there's also fundamental differences between them, as you alluded to. The partition, being the 75-year-old bullet that founded the company, yep. is designed for large, heavy animals, deep penetration. You know, it was formed based on killing a moose that had two or three inches of mud caked on the outside of its hide. Really? That, that was the genesis of the partition bullet, So that's getting what, through that. That's why when I think so, of partition, I think about elk. Absolutely. It's a big Just, game bullet. Yeah. Will it still work on deer? Sure, it'll work on oh, deer. Yeah. It'll work on antelope, work on jackrabbits, work on whatever, but it's yeah. a big game bullet. Okay. Other ones are too. The E-tip, we talked about that a little bit. It's, it's lead free. That was the genesis for the E-tip bullet. If you have to or prefer to shoot a lead free bullet, um, we designed a bullet that will hold together and perform a lot like a partition as far as depth of penetration, killing power, big heavy animals. I'd shoot a moose with two inches of mud on its side with an E-tip all day long. Yeah. Elk, any of that kind of stuff. Exactly. It's a ballistic tip can be and is designed to expand much more violently than those other two in its initial penetration in the animal or whatever you're shooting with it. It has a solid base on the jacket, it's heavily tapered, it will still hold together and it will still kill big game and you can still kill an elk with a ballistic tip as long as it's a heavy for caliber like a 200 grain, 30 caliber, you know, that kind of yeah. stuff, 180 grain. But it's a little more, a little more violent on the initial part. Now the Acubond kind of bridges between those two. The Acubond has a different jacket that has a different taper than the ballistic tip. Okay. And also it's bonded and has a different lead alloy core. So it's still going to expand fairly aggressively initially, but it's going to settle down pretty quick, maintain a smaller expanded diameter and penetrate much deeper. It's okay. a bigger game bullet than the ballistic tip is. So when you say bonded, tell me what you mean by bonded. Soldered. It's, that lead core is heated until it's molten, some flux is introduced, and it's soldered to the inside of the jacket. Okay. Um, and what that does is it, it doesn't really change the construction characteristic of the bullet, but it makes sure that core won't come out of that jacket as it's expanding and traveling through the animal. Right. And so the way that the core of an AccuBond is built compared to a partition? Mm-hmm. It's different. It is different. It's a different alloy, and the jacket is different between those two bullets as well. Okay. Yep. So. All four of them have their application, and like you said, there's some overlap. Absolutely. But if you choose the right bullet for the right application and the right cartridge, you're set. You're set. You're going to have a, have a good time, successful hunt. Yeah. Cool. He's down. He's down. He's down.